Hey friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm very excited to show you how you can perform benchmarking while your row level security is still configured. So numbers that are not supposed to show for a user can still be used for your benchmark. And how do we do that? Stick to the video and you'll find out. It's very common in different models that you want to benchmark how the region that you're basically analyzing is performing next to other regions. But perhaps you don't even have access to the data of the other regions because your company doesn't allow you to see exactly what the results are of the other regions. So you'll have to work with a few tricks to fix this. Now, let's get right into it and I'll show you what the problem is and how we can solve this. When we have a look on the screen, you actually see the total sales by the different regions that we have. And each of those regions sales is split by different colors of the products. And if you are a management, you're able to see all of this. So these are different measures showing just the sales for a certain region. Uh, it's called a territory in this case. And there is a total column right there. Now I've configured something that is row level security. And I created a role here. And the role is called Europe. And what this role does is it put a filter on the sales territory table and it says that it should filter it only for the country be, or, uh, or for the territory being equal to Europe. To see what that does for your user, you can click in the top here on view as. And when you click on Europe, Power BI will now perform uh, a, some sort of view that will show you what the Europe manager is seeing. So if your user is only seeing Europe, this is the view this person is going to have. So as you can see, we are now missing data for Pacific and North America, and it only shows us these sales right here. Now, let's say that for your report, you're curious what percentage of the sales is for each color. So we can start by making a measure for that. And I've already created it here. I'm going to add it to the, to the table. And now right here, it shows the... Uh, I, I can take the measure here and show you. I did a calculation that divides for this respective row, the sales in the context. So for example, we could look at the, the 4,879 and it states that as a percentage of everything in the filter context, ignoring the colors. And in this case, that means that it's looking at the total. And that's why these percentages here add up to 100%. Now, it would be very interesting. Let's imagine that you are a sales manager from Europe and you're curious what on average all the other countries sell uh, as a percentage. So you're curious what the other sells, uh, for example, the red colors, the silver colors. But as soon as the rare level security is applied, you don't have any access to that data. Because let's show that again. So we have this percentage here. If we go back to the view, we can click on view as, click on Europe. And the percentage that will be calculated now, the 14.8, is only the percentage that you have for Europe. So this is no use yet, even though you might want to see it for all the countries. So how can you solve this? Let's go to the data model. So the data model looks as follows. There is an internet sales table, and we have some dimensions for the dates. We have some the territory, which could, for example, be Europe. And there is a product with all the colors. Now, what happens with row level security is that it filters away everything that doesn't belong to the role that you're having. So in this case, before anything is calculated at all within DAX, there is a filter on sales territory being Europe, and it filters away all the other data. So you're never going to be able to see all of the other data. To circumvent this, to build a solution, you could actually create another table that is based on this one, and perhaps is a summary. And what you could do to make things easy is you just go and uh, go to the, the tables tab here. And it would be a good idea to create a new table. You can do this in DAX, or if you prefer, you can also do this in Power Query or create a view in your database. So I'm going to call this one the summarized internet sales. And in general, I would say you can use the summarize function and we're going to summarize the internet sales and the few columns we're going to need our order date, the order date key, because that one will connect with your calendar table. Then we are going to need uh, the product key because we are still splitting things by color and the color is linked to the products. 
And next to that, so we have order key, product key. We're also going to need the territory key, just like that. And with all of these in place, there's only one thing missing. So we could start like this, for example. Let's have a look at what that looks like. Okay, so this is the table that we now get, but what's still missing is the sales amount that we need to get. And let's not use summarize for that. Best practice is to use the add columns function, which needs a table as its first argument, which is the summarize one. And then it would be great to have a column that's called sales, and it can reference the, the sales measure right there. And by doing this, we're going to get a, a well summarized table. And if we order this by order date, you can actually see that the numbers are changing. Before we can do any calculations with this, let's, uh, let's pull this table into our model right there. And we are going to need to make a few connections, but be careful. We do not want to make a connection here with the territory table. And the reason for that is because row level security filters away all the data first step and only after it's filtered away, then the DEX expressions are evaluated. So we're going to need this product key to be mixed with the product key right here. And next to that, we're gonna link the order date key with the date key. Very well. So basically this table is now here and just to repeat once one more time, it does not have a connection with the sales territory table. So our first step is now to create a measure that calculates our total sales, but this time from our summarized table. And to do that, I would probably go to my other table, which is the summarized version, the bottom one. And I'm going to create a measure here. And that measure will calculate the total sales from this table. So total sales benchmark, it equals the, I'm going to calculate the sum of the sales, uh, summarized internet sales. Okay. And one thing that we still need to correct for is that we need to make sure that the filter in the top is going to reach this table and it does not do it through a relationship. So what we can do instead is apply a filter. So we could here say, that uh, uh, the summarized table and then the territory key needs to be equal to one of the values in the current filter context. And that filter context needs to come from the sales territory table because that's the one that we filter. So we take the sales territory key And with that being calculated, we can now add this measure to our table. And the first thing that we do is if we look at these different uh, numbers, then right now the numbers are exactly equal. So sometimes they're empty, North America is equal, Pacific is equal. That's the start to show you that the numbers can calculate without a relationship between sales territory and the summarized table. Now, a benchmark, it depends what, on the company what a benchmark is. But one reasoning you could do is to say that if you select, for example, a region like Europe, then our benchmark is all of the countries that are not in Europe. And by doing that, you can actually use those numbers. So let's see if we can try to adjust the formula and say that instead of it being equal to it, our benchmark is everything that is not in the current filter context. So what's happening right now? Uh, now we have a we have selected Europe, which is the ten thousand, and our benchmark number here, the thirty five, is everything not selected. So it's North America and the Pacific together. And of course, if we change the selection, you're gonna find that our benchmark is also still here. That's the basic idea. And now knowing this, of course, when you do benchmarking. It's difficult to compare if you don't have relative numbers. So you're probably going to want to work with percentages. Um, yeah, mostly percentages because percentages can be relative. 
So if we are curious about the percentage of total, we could, for example, say percentage of total. And basically we're looking here at the percentage of the total from a certain color. So we could, instead of doing only the sum, we could say we're going to divide the sum of the internet sales by the calculate sum uh, and then the summarized internet sales. And we are going to ignore, so we're gonna remove filters, everything that is filtered on color. And by doing that, we actually get the total of the entire table here. And the other argument we can just leave here. So it's doing all of this for the benchmark. Now everything will be changed to a percentage and it would be great if we can have this with a single dot. Okay. Now the total of the benchmark is right here. So you can, as you can tell, the percentage total right here is different from the benchmark. Uh, if we see the total here without any selection, you will find that the benchmark is empty because everything that is not selected doesn't exist. So the formula is always looking for everything that is not in the filter context. So when I click Europe, there's a number. Do I click North America? There's also numbers. And in this way, you can actually create your report. So comparisons are, uh, are possible. So these first regions, one could delete. And say like, okay, I'll, I'll remove Europe like this. And then if I take this filter away and we could, for example, go to modeling and now we click again on view as, and let's imagine that you are the Europe region manager. Now, all of a sudden, the data that we see here, the sales, that data is right now just for Europe, but this region that has row level security applied to only see their region also now has the ability to compare to the total benchmark. Now, there is a few things you have to watch out for. So as you can see, this works, but be careful. If your report is now used by users only in the Power BI service and is not self-service at all, then this is a safe way to do it. But if your users are doing self-service and are able to move fields themselves, then right now you are in danger of still showing all of this data to your users. Now, if you are doing self-service, then perhaps it would be a better idea to put the actual percentages of a benchmark in a table without showing the actual sales, because percentages don't give away what the total sales are for a certain region. So be careful with that. Of course, also, you could hide away this, this table here, but there is often ways for users to still get that data. So just a small warning there, be careful how you show your data. But if you know that your user is going to be fine with this, then in this way, you can actually show your benchmarking, keep your row level security intact, and still have the comparison possible right there. So this was the trick for today, and I'm very happy about the possible, possible use cases for it. If this was any helpful for you, give me a big thumbs up, please. And if there is a different way in which you approach this yourself, I'd be curious to know about it. Send me a message or leave a comment below and then I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video.